up here. I don't know. This one says turn left now. Oh, it's a tourist place. <laughs> da, 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 Look at the back. Look it says the hole in the rock. <laughs> wow. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, we're approaching Wilson's Arch. Oh, Wilson, sorry. There it Wilson. is. Wilson! There's Wilson's Arch. Hey, there's people up there. You know, that's my favorite thing to do. Oh my gosh, they could so have gone up there. Oh, look, people are climbing on rocks. Leanne, you didn't even stop and let me climb. You didn't ask me to stop. I didn't know people could climb. Sorry, Wilson! Wilson, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Wilson! Well, we're going to call that one Turtle Rock, but I'm not sure if we're going to get a good picture from this side. It's kind of pretty here in Colorado. It's a different terrain here. A lot more trees. There's mountains up there. They still have snow on them. And you guys can see them because it's really hard to see them in this little screen. This is the cutest little campground. And we're getting a walking. What do you call that? A walking... Walking escort. Escort. Yes, a walking escort to... So I see where you are. You are in Site 11. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can get in there. Okay. All right, we are in Pagosa Springs. It's a little noisy because there's a little short order of business I have to take care of. Coming out of the desert. That is just nasty. I can't let Old Blue look like that. So we're going to take care of this right away. Then go grab some grub. Oh, look at that man work. You can take the man out of Alabama, but you can't take the Alabama out of the man. Look at him. Getting that bug be gone. Make sure you get your windshield wipers, they're pretty nasty. Yeah. That's how you get those bugs off. We'll see how it looks when he's done. Where are we headed? On a hike. To a waterfall. I don't know, it's Treasure what? Treasure Fall? Treasure Falls is one of the tallest waterfalls in the San Juan Mountains. This waterfall cascades down a 105 foot drop, creating a mesmerizing display of rushing water and mist that can be heard from miles away. Treasure Falls is rated as one of the seven best waterfalls in Colorado. The trailhead for Treasure Falls is located just off US Highway 160 near the town of Pagosa Springs. The trail is an easy 0.5 mile trail that winds through the forest and follows along the Falls Creek. The trail is family friendly and suitable for hikers of all skill level. So as far as hikes go, yeah, it's really a pretty easy hike. Yep, we gained about 200 feet of elevation going up, so not gonna lie, I was a tad bit out of breath. But is it this way? No. Or that way? Just down here. Okay. No. Okay. It's not gonna look good if we get lost on on marked trails. On a point. <laughs> What is it? 
2.25. We're point two, on a point two five trail and we're gonna get lost. No, I don't think this is the right way. Yeah, it is, babe. Okay. And here's the cutback. That was just a shortcut. Okay. Why do we take the shortcut? But it wasn't bad. It was actually we stopped a couple of times. I don't think it's that we're that out of shape. I think it's the elevation. And I know we're over a mile high up here, so Yeah, my lungs and my brain still are getting adjusted to the out elevation. But, but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful hike. If you have a chance to come to Treasure Falls, Treasure Falls mm -hmm. highly recommend it. Short hike with a nice reward at the end. Beautiful waterfall. So Treasure Falls flows down into the San Juan River, which eventually flows into the Sea of Cortez. That was a lot of fun. I'm glad we did that hike. Yeah. Me I think too. I think uh, we should go downtown Pagosa Springs, and I think they have a boardwalk, and walk that, and maybe grab some lunch. The Springs Resort and Spa are located along the San Juan River in Pagosa Springs, Colorado. However, instead of the hot springs, Michelle and I opted to do the trail that ran along the San Juan River in downtown Pagosa Springs. Hello, Michelle and I are walking in downtown Pagosa Springs. We came over to check out the hot springs. We may go over there later, take a dip in the hot springs. They recommend going later in the evening or first thing in the morning, but it looks pretty nice. But there is this area. What is this called? This one here is a community garden. I don't, that's yeah. called geothermal. Something. They have a community garden here downtown, which is pretty cool. But I'll show you in just a second. There is like a uh, ge geothermal garden. Never seen one before. Not really sure how it works, but I'll show you in a minute. We're not really sure what the story is behind the garden. It's just here in downtown Pagosa, right off of the river. Welcome to the garden. More strawberries. That might be sage, I'm not sure. Pretty cool. I guess they just down here and on the way out please be courteous please pick only what you want oh please nope. pick only what you planted <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed this they have used skis as fence posts That's pretty wild. Rocky Mountain Columbine. Wow, how pretty. That's pretty. Nice. Rocky Mountain oh. Columbine. Outside the fence, that is the geothermal gardens, geothermal greenhouses. I don't know if you can pick up the mountains behind me, but there are snow-capped mountains and we are in June and in the background all around this town there are snow-capped mountains. It's really a nice city. Looks like a mini tropical jungle in there. They're like banana trees, all kinds of 
kinds of like tropical trees in there. I don't know if you can get the camera up, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a geothermal garden. Look in there. See if you can get it. I don't know if you can see anybody. But... The greenhouses use geothermal energy from the nearby natural hot springs. This renewable energy source helps to maintain a consistent temperature within the greenhouse. That's pretty cool. It looks like these are like little beehive things or something. But the school kids have painted like the holes and the backs of them. There's, there's several of them in here. I'm not exactly sure what the bees do in there. Oh. Maybe I could find more information. Oh, learn about gentle bees. <laughs> I guess I could just scan that. Reading. Scan the QR and find out. Look, they have like solar panels up there that are running. So I wonder if they, it looks like some of these tubes are filled. So I wonder if these are for wood bees or if they're for honey bees to I fill those. That's interesting. Wow. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we are making dinner tonight. Just got back from going to Pagosa Springs. We're having chicken. I'm gonna try this new barbecue sauce that I got. Never used it before. We'll see. Season that. I've already seasoned the chicken. I think we're gonna have some rice and some corn. And that will be dinner tonight since we have a surprise tomorrow morning and we have to get up really early to go there so we'll see you on a bit Good morning. So Michelle and I got up early this morning and we didn't end up doing the hot springs last night, but we're gonna give you a hint as to what we're doing this morning. We're so excited! <laughs> we're going for a hot air balloon ride. The sun's just coming out, so I'm starting to see blue sky. That's a good thing. So come along with us.
most surprising experience for me was how peaceful and quiet it was being up in the air. Also, I was very surprised at how soft the landing was. Hey, a shout out to Rocky Mountain Balloon Adventures for giving Michelle and I a lifelong memory. What a wonderful experience and what a professional team. We gotta go. Hey, we appreciate you watching. Why don't you give us a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. <laughs> and that's why my feet were hurting. It was mostly my toes. All right, hold on, I'm gonna you. You know what? I've collected a lot of dirt from this. Okay. Come on. Ready? Well, oh, it's all in there still. Hold on. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. My toes were crammed. You know, I'll take that with you, you know. Yeah, I know. Leave, leave no here. trace. <laughs> Michelle and I would like to thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned. Feel free to make a comment or ask us a question about any of the places that you've seen us go. So long for now.